it's just now our turn in the world to see what we can make of it and what we can try and do to make the world better for the people that are living in it right now. Good morning internet, it is quarter past eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel Welcome to another day, another ride I am in a close to a small place called Huli, Huli, Huli? Huli, 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 I'll show you on the map I am now close to this town here and the plan for today is to ride to Howick. And I could of course take the main highway, the N2, down here towards Durban and then go this way. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to ride this big highway. So I will be riding down towards Richard Bay and then go inland and follow, I don't know, some of these roads over here to Howick. So it will be a significant distance, I think about 350 kilometers. And then around Howick there are some interesting things to see. So that is the plan for today. Right there, see interesting things. Okay, Savannah. On we go. Bye, Bush Baby Lodge. This was really a lovely, lovely place to stay. Just like many other countries in the world, the hospitality sector in South Africa got hit really hard with the lockdowns and basically no more tourists coming to the country. So actually a lot of the lodges in this area, because there used to be quite a few because of all the game reserves here, are all closed down or for sale. They've managed to uh, hang on for about a year. But since there are still no um, big streams of people entering the country, they all, they've all gone down. Tugela River. Saturday today, so looks like it is market day. Fans, backpack. I'm now in a town called Kranskop. Come on, goats. is busy 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 today
fill up. It is now I'm here. Hi. Um, 95, please. Full. 95? Yeah. How much? Full. 400. No, full. Full. Thank you. Kranskop. Market day in Kranskop. This is Greytown. Which is also busy, busy, busy. breakfast hello, hello. Um, I'm looking for accommodation okay. thank you pets roaming so I dropped off uh, my bags just keeping the tank back there's a place not far from here, about six kilometers. And it's a very important historical place. And I feel like I cannot come to South Africa and completely ignore this massive piece of South African history. So this place here, just outside Howick, was the place where Nelson Mandela got captured and had to spend the next 27 years of his life in prison, in several prisons actually. 
Um, he spent the most time, 18 years, on Robben Island, which was a prison island um, a little bit north of Cape Town. Netherlands. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Wundi, Ogakan, Utang. Tata Mateva, Ubaba, Ramza. People is people first. He saved most of our lives and gave us freedom. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, to be honest. Nelson Mandela inspired me to be a leader of change. I believe Mandela is like Tim Mountain, a stone that will never go away. Unity. Great courage. He fought for the freedom of this country. Yeah, I just think of freedom, that's all. Kindness for everyone. He's like the follow I never heard. Great man. Struggle, diversity, family, noble, wisdom, legend. A truly remarkable man. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. We have it always seems impossible until it's done. Real leaders must be ready to sacrifice all for the freedom of their people. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land shall experience the oppression of one by another. I feel it's an honor because now he's left us with this challenge, this, um, this time to think about what can we do to better ourselves and South Africa as a whole. Who's going to be our next president? And will it be someone who I'm sitting next to in class? I believe that I am in charge of my destiny. Um, I don't believe in fate. I believe that how I'll be living is based on my actions. It's just now our turn in the world to see what we can make of it and what we can try and do to make the world better for the people that are living in it right now. There are no borders anymore. You're free to do what you would like to do, so you don't have an excuse not to do it. And with that, you can do whatever that you want. Wow, what a powerful, powerful museum. I tried to film inside, but it was really dark, so I hope uh, that it worked. But ah, I just got goosebumps from that, from that museum. I'm now walking towards uh, the monument, which is over there, right there. In the distance, that's the monument of the capture site. So of course, Nelson Mandela is world, world famous. Um, so I don't think I have to tell you everything, but for some people that don't know exactly much about him. Oh, I can first tell you this. When Nelson Mandela was born, his name was actually Rolilala. And Rolilala means troublemaker. <laughs> and the name Nelson was given later to him when he went to primary school. And he went to a Christian primary school. And there it was really common in the time that the teachers would give African children an English name. So that's when he was named Nelson. But for here in South Africa, most people know him by the name Madiba. And Madiba is his Tumbu clan name. And Nelson Mandela now is of course an icon in the world for democracy and social justice. And he was fighting against something which is called apartheid. And apartheid is Afrikaans and originally it's actually a Dutch word which means separateness. And that was a time here in South Africa and I believe it was also in parts of Namibia at the time but I'm not entirely sure. But it was a horrible, horrible time. And in that time, there were a lot of these apartheid 
laws. I don't know all of them. It's a long list and the one is even more horrible than the other. But part of the apartheid was that people were all divided into four different races. So you were either, you, you got like a, a sort of passport, like a racial passport, which either said white, black, colored or Indian. And based on the race, there was racial segregation. So people had to live in special neighborhoods for that race. So there were millions of black people who were driven out of their homes and they had to live in special neighborhoods. And there were laws that prevent people from different races to use the same drinking fountain or the same restroom. Um, black police were not allowed to arrest white people. Um, a lot of black people got stripped, even stripped of their South African citizenship during that time as well. And that, that's just a couple of the things, but the list goes on and on. And Nelson Mandela was fighting against this apartheid. And first he started with peaceful resistance and later they also took up uh, armed resistance. And at that time there was even a so-called apartheid police. And that apartheid police was already chasing Nelson Mandela for 17 months before they captured him here in this place when he was traveling by car from Durban to Johannesburg and he was disguised as the driver of the car but they managed to disguise him and captured him here on this side here. So I'm right here at the monument now. So after the arrest Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison and the apartheid system lasted until early 1990s and then in 1994 Nelson Mandela got elected and he became the first black leader of South Africa. So that was it for today. Um, I crossed straight through KwaZulu-Natal, the province of South Africa today. I saw many things, I saw beautiful things. And I also think that this is a very interesting place. I learned a lot of new things about Nelson Mandela and apartheid that I didn't know before. So I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.